Okay, our first speaker is uh, Tim Devitt. Welcome, Tim. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, my name is uh, Tim Devitt. I'm a junior IMS major here at the university. Um, today, my topic will be college GPA trends in America. Okay, so the reason why this topic is kind of interesting to me because it kind of sparked a question. So why would somebody choose private over public, or why would somebody choose public over private? So I kind of narrowed down like three categories I kind of want to share before I get into my presentation. So I got into graduation rates, um, academic choices, and class size, and diversity. Okay, so um, when I did a couple of, um, when I did some research, um, I found that 53% of private students graduate on time as to 33% for public students. So that might be something that's um, interesting as far as someone who want to go to a public school or a public, um, private or public school, okay? So um, secondly, um, public schools offer more majors, okay? So that might be a reason why somebody would rather go public as to private schools who usually offer lesser options, okay? Um, thirdly, lastly, public, um, public universities usually have more students. Okay, as to private um, private schools who have less, but they're typically more diverse. Okay, so these these are just three um, categories that are interesting to me that I kind of did some research on. Okay, so today my key points will include showing you my original chart, pointing out the flaws and um, the weak points in the graph, and then I'll be showing you my improved charts and kind of walking you through my improvements. Okay, so okay. So this is the original chart. Um, me personally, I didn't like the color charts. I feel like there's too much going on. There's too many colors kind of going with each other at the same time. So I didn't like that. Um, secondly, I didn't like how they put the all schools right here. It's kind of like a um, combined of the public and private schools. I think that's just unnecessary. You can kind of like, you know, kind of like, you know, differentiate the two by yourself. You don't need a whole separate graph to kind of see um, thirdly, I didn't like how they had the years on the side and you had to kind of look at the number, you had to kind of look at the color and kind of like look at the graph and see which one is which. I didn't like that either. Um, and also, to me personally, I feel like it's kind of hard to see the exact GPA when you're looking at the bar. That's just me personally. Maybe it's because of black back or white background, but that's just um, my personal opinion. Okay, so this is my approved chart, okay? So, um, first I removed all the color schemes and I kind of kept it to blue and gray. That made it more easier for me to look at it, and I feel like as an audience that would be easier for you all as well. Secondly, um, I changed the year from the side and I kind of put the years at the bottom. Okay, so it just, it just increased the um, rebuilding, it's just easier to read. Okay, thirdly, I removed the all schools category, like I said. Um, also, I included a grid in the background, so you can actually see, it kind of helps you with looking at the exact GPA. I know it helped for me, so. Um, and then lastly, um, I gave each group, I gave public school and I gave private school to each group as far as like a color. So if you can, so if you remember in the first graph, public schools are all in one, well all the years and private schools are all in one, so I kind of just did like one and one for each of them. Um, and of course, I use the similarity principle with the, um, the bars are the same, the bars are the same. Okay. Um, in conclusion, um, I talked about, I, I showed you the original chart. Um, I pointed out the weak points in the, um, in the chart as well. And then I went on and I showed you my improved chart. And I walked you through the improvements that I made as well. Okay. Uh, my takeaway message is kind of like, I want to leave that with a question. So, do y'all feel as if this is a fair comparison? Because I know private schools typically have less students, and I know public schools typically have more students. So that's what I kind of want to leave that with, okay? Um, that'll be it. Thank you for listening. Hope I didn't take so much of your time. Thank you. Thank you. I have to, don't take it down. Don't take it down.